Okay, I have something I want to talk about. Cool. I have an issue with team self-selection. So I have this hypothesis that people who choose to be on the same team with people who are more like them could have the potential to actually decrease diversity in an organization. Is that a, is that a risk? Absolutely. And uh, that's why I never just let people go and self-select without any instructions, without mm. preparation, without talking about diversity and what makes a good team and giving some guidelines for uh, mm -hmm. how they could choose, what to think about. Is there, is there coaching included? Like, do you, do you coach people during the event or is it more or less a free-form activity where people are, are, are guiding themselves? It's not as much as coaching, but I'd say more facilitation, where uh, I ask people, we ask people um, about their choices, if mm -hmm. that's the right choice for them, it's the right choice for the company, if that's the best choice for the team. Right. And um, people are actually quite good seeing that uh, being, just choosing people they like to go out with or have a beer with or are just exactly like them is not a good idea. It, and this, this comment about how we trusting people. and. I guess, I guess maybe I'm discovering, maybe I'm guilty of some of a lack of that in thinking like, oh, I know better. Um, and it, it, it's, uh, maybe, maybe I need to reflect on that a bit. Yeah, but I think it'd be a really easy case because uh, it goes through iterations. And right. uh, iteration one, you might go with uh, five other guys who are exactly like you, yes. all Canadian, all yep. the same age, and uh, whatever else you are like. But that, that, that describes my personality entirely. Totally, totally yes. Yes. But what would happen is we'd have a conversation um, asking if, if that is the best combination of people. If mm -hmm. uh, you have thought about if that would make the best team, about what you can learn, what you can teach, and if that's overall the best idea for the company. Right. And I'm pretty sure that you um, would be smart enough to mm -hmm. think pretty quickly. So one of the other things I think Heidi was talking about with dynamic reteaming is sharing or getting getting to know more people across the organization so building relationships across the organization so is that, is that something too that that uh, people i guess could be thinking about when they're doing a self-selection event is am i just am i just going to work with people who i already like and then i'm not building new relationships mm -hmm. there's a danger that people do that yeah i have not observed people doing that ever i think they are actually quite reasonable in mm -hmm. their choices they do think about how they learn and what they get something out of and that's not just sticking with your mates so you've uh, you've written this book and uh, you've been talking on it a lot is there something something new you've been working on or something uh, what's what's next for you what's next for me it's um, taking um, the idea of self-selection and actually looking more of uh, the organ and uh, sorry looking more at organizational design okay I'm currently experimenting with uh, sociocracy and holacracy awesome I still don't know what I think about it, but uh, I'm five months into the experiment and I'm still withholding judgment. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I think I'm going to look forward to talking to you maybe in a year or two and find out how that went. Yeah. Me too. Awesome. Okay. Well, this has been a great conference. Um, this is your first time in India? Yes. Do you think you'll come back? If I get invited, absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. I'm looking. I'm, ho to. I'm hoping to come back for Agile India 2018. Yes, I hope to see you next yeah, year. Yeah, maybe we'll see you there. Awesome. Thanks. Cool. Thank you.